So there is this perception about Denver that is keeping teachers away, and it is, it's impacting how kids learn. A lack of diverse classroom teachers is not just a Denver problem, but that doesn't mean that the state's largest school district isn't fixated on fixing it. Anusha Roy explains. Growing up in Aurora, Cedric Miller saw an opportunity. I actually only had one male teacher of color throughout all of elementary school all the way up until middle school. Um, then I had a female teacher of color and then I did not have another teacher of color until college. Now he's studying to be a special education teacher and wants to stay in Colorado, where the state says out of more than 54,000 public school teachers, around an eighth are minorities. In the Denver Public School District, where around 75% are students of color, around 28% of their teachers are. If students have even one teacher of color or teacher who looks like them, they are 39% more likely to graduate from high school. DPS is just one of many districts working on this for years. But why it's a problem is complicated, starting with the obvious issue. We would always love to pay all teachers more. It's not necessarily something that's going to have provide financial stability. DPS also said there aren't enough local teacher candidates to go out of state. And that's yeah. when they realized perception is a real problem. When we visit um, places like Atlanta, places like Texas, um, it's not per Denver is not perceived as a place where edge where people of color are have a strong community. The issue extends beyond DPS. The State Department of Education says there's a teacher shortage across the state and that makes it even harder to find teachers who reflect the community. So partnerships with local universities like the UNC Center for Urban Education is all the more important. They draw directly from the communities of color in the Denver metro area. So far, they've built up a local student population that's 70% minority. Be that driving force for kids of color, kids that look like me, kids that didn't look like me. So DPS hosted an open house this week specifically for minority teacher candidates and the state launched a new program called Teach Colorado was simply just trying to do the same thing. And of course, again, this year there's some proposed legislation to investigate this issue more. And those are just a couple of examples mm -hmm. of what the district states, even universities have been trying to do now for years to address this issue. So the teachers have been gathering at the Capitol each year now for these days of mm -hmm. action, kind of like big protests. You see the big sea of teachers out, out front and some teachers notice what's Play into the eye, which is you look at that sea of teachers and it is mighty white. Yeah, so that actually happened during the strikes uh, last February. And one of the DPS teachers I talked to said, you know, she looked out over the Capitol and said, oh, this is a problem. I I'm looking in this crowd and this mm -hmm. is a problem. So they actually created the Denver Black Educators Caucus. It's a very new group and just met with the school board to specifically talk about new ways for retention and recruitment. So just another thing that's happening to try to address this. All right, because everybody agrees it's an issue. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nusha.